The students at Grassfield Elementary also got a literary treat last week when an accomplished author and former Chesapeake Public Schools employee visited their school. Neither the elves or Mrs. Claus I taught first grade, I taught sixth grade, and I taught seventh grade. And I ended my career uh, as an instructional skills specialist. And then I taught in college working with student teachers at Virginia Wesleyan. And I felt like I'd given a lot of my life to other people's children, so I chose to be a grandmother and take care of my two children. Once they got in school all day, I decided to write. I wrote my oldest granddaughter a book called The Beach Fairy that's a family tradition. It tells about a tooth fairy that goes down to the Outer Banks and turns herself into this bejeweled buff beach fairy. And uh, you've written one of them a book, you want to write the other one a book. When Charlotte was six, she brought me this bejeweled thank you note that she wrote and asked me if we could mail it to Santa. And I knew then that I would build her story around that. And the book's called Santa's Secret Wish, and that's the book I'm reading today at Grassville. And it tells what his secret wish is, that he could get a stack of mail as high in January as he gets in December because he's just like us. He wants to know if he's doing a good job and he's never gotten a thank you note and Charlotte truly believes that she was the first one to ever write him one. But Santa was still not happy. Neither the elves or Mrs. Claus could figure out why he was so down in the dumps. We love to give our children as many different opportunities to immerse them in, liter in literature and Mrs. Stone does a great job of capturing the season as well as um, teaching them a lesson. The story she's sharing is on the importance of appreciation and so it's a great lesson with a great book and a great former employee of our school division. Actually in my very first teaching assignment she was assigned to the same building so we've worked together. It's just another example of how Chesapeake employees keep giving back to the community over and over even beyond their years of retirement. If he, he thought if he left children's stock, uh, letters in their stockings, they might more likely write him a letter after Christmas. So, the time I feel like things have come full circle. I taught so many kids, I shared with those students that I wanted to write, and I told them one day that they might see my name, not K-A-Y, but just the K with the quotation marks, because I would do it. And they come up to me holding his or her child and buys my book. I feel like that it has come full circle and that I have been blessed. And there you go again, making me feel appreciated. It's a great feeling. Don't forget about Santa. You can support this local author and get your own copy of Santa's Secret Wish or her first book, The Beach Fairy, by searching the titles on Amazon.com.